Hey up everybody, uh, I'm on next part of my shaping uh, videos. This is my adept shaper that you can see in previous parts that I've recommissioned. If you've not seen them, take a look at them. Uh, in the last part I did a little bit of cutting on it and I think I got up to 50 thousandths of an inch uh, depth of cut. So what I've been doing, I've been busy making a few sets of basic tooling for it and some various other things. So I've got a, a set of a basic set of tools I've ground up, a few adapters, uh, a slotting tool for doing keyways and uh, an indexable tool holder. I'll show you them in a minute. I've also made this uh, guard which I can put in any position to stop the chips flying everywhere in my workshop. And I've also made this uh, leg support for under the table which is adjustable and I'll show a few clips of me doing that. So uh, let's crack on then and, uh, and continue with this then. Okay, let's have a look at what I've been up to here then. It's a 5 8 BSW uh, screw, 6 inches long. I've milled a, a keyway in the whole length. I've welded a bracket on the top. I've made this knurled nut, an easy fit on the bolt. I've got my piece of square tubing. I've made this adapter for the top and uh, I've just screwed that adapter in on one side and then on the other side I've made a knurled thumb screw and that thumb screw is going to pick that slot up so that's going to go on into there, that's just a sliding fit that will locate it And then this nut will lower and higher the support depending on where I want to have the table on the actual uh, body of the shaping machine. And then I'm going to line this up with the table. To do to make sure it's a rigid and solid tight fit is jack the screw slightly not not too much just to take the weight of the table and then lock it off
Right, let's quickly run through all the all this tooling I've been, ma been making. And I've made this this uh, winding handle for the vise. So on one side it does my vise, and then on the other side, I've made it so it uh, fits the bolt that clamps the tools. And it also the side that does the vise also does the cranking lever if I want to do some fine adjusting. I've ground some basic tools up, some a roughing tool, a chamfering tool, a shearing tool. I've made the roughing tool so it's on one side it's a left hand and then the other side it's a right hand. Uh, but they'll get me going for for, for present time and then uh, I've made this tool holder this indexable tool holder that you can I got this uh, tip off a of rust inoxus channel that you put in your existing tool holder so you can lower your tool down and index it over at different angles whichever you need and it gives you the support at the back and also same again off I got this tip off a of rusty knox uh, some supports for putting the, the the tool into to give it extra support so that just slides into the tool holder and drops in so you can have your tool further through the tool holder uh, giving it that extra support there and then I've also made key weighing tools or slotting tools so this just slides out my tool holder of the clapper box and then I've made this piece that's going to replicate that into the clapper box just uh, fastens on with a nut I'm not tightening it up because I'm taking it off and then I've made three different diameter slotting tool holders that's going to screw in to that holder and once I've tied it up with a spanner I just put a locking grub screw into there which picks a hole up in the bar on each, on each of them just to uh, hold it in position so it don't move and then you put your tool different size tool in in each of the tool holders that's it for this video then uh, now I've got some proper tooling made I can uh, in next video I'll, I'll do some more cutting on some steel and see, see if I can get above that 50 thou that I did on my previous video to this so uh, if you found that interesting give me a subscribe and a like and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.